All right, guys, I'm live at Matty Ice Studios. We're bringing Sam Apoku back to the studio. Um, about a month ago, I would say it was about a month ago, mm -hmm. we had you and Miles, I think, here. Was it Miles or was it? Uh, it was me and Ronnie Cash. Okay, you and Ronnie. I had yeah. Miles. I had everybody Miles in from the Zona Fest. Yeah. yeah, they're all going to probably come back as well. Okay, bet. But, bro, I saw your performance at Zona Fest. I've been listening to some of your music, your catalog, bro. And then I just became a fan, you know? So I'm not going to lie. Like, when you first came here, you know, I, I didn't dig into the music. You know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. meet so many artists, and I try to get them to tell me about themselves. And, yep. and then I got to see you live because I hosted the Zone Out Fest. And I was like, all right, we have to get Sam back here. We need to get the performance on here because it's going to be legendary, bro. Yep, yep. Um, your song, Energy, it's a serious hit. Thank you, bro. How long ago did you make that song? Um, first of all, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. It means a lot to me. For sure. Um, I made that, like, I think, like, back in the summer. Uh, so it's still kind of a new track. Yeah, it's very, very new, yeah. The summer of this oh, summer? this year, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's seriously so. new. Mm -hmm. And then I was trying to drop, um, like, an Afro tape. And I was like, no, let me just continue to do, like, this singles thing and just uh, weed out, like, my best singles and then throw them out to and just push them, you know, gradually. And then the whole team was like, yeah, let's start with energy. I think it's, like, the best vibe to, to start off the the whole Kofi season with so yeah. what exactly is Kofi season I'm glad you asked what is Kofi exactly bro <laughs> so I'm from Ghana I think I, we were talking about my background a little bit at the last crazy one, story yeah so when I um when basically when you're born you get your own name based on the day that you're born so I was born Friday the day name for Friday is Kofi and it's Kofi season it's just like the season where things are going basically every day is Kofi season but it's kind of how I'm branding this whole era of dropping tons of music. So For sure. Last time we spoke, you said something in the interview. You said that, you know, every, I don't know if it was every year, every so often um, in Africa, you can actually, it's like a lottery where you can win citizenship here to the United States. Yeah. Your mom um, was selected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a crazy story. It's basically, it's a miracle. I don't know if they do it anymore. I think they probably got rid of it with the last administration, but um back in like 2000 2001 2002 you put your name into it millions of people do this and then um my my uncle was actually playing a, a prank on my mom i don't know if i told you that part uh he went and just put her name in it and then boom she won it and she got all these documents and stuff and she's all so wait a second so this. she didn't even enter herself mm -mm, yeah my uncle was uh <laughs> he couldn't do it himself for whatever reason i was like well if i'm not gonna do it, i'm gonna put it on my family so he put her name in, did all the paperwork for her, et cetera. She got the stuff, and then the rest is history. And what I think is crazy, too, is she actually wound up moving out here by herself for the first three or four or five years mm -hmm. while yeah. you were still living over in Africa just yeah. to work and get everything ready. Yep, for five years she was out here just struggling. That, that woman's crazy. But um, after that five years is when we got to see her. We landed in New York and then moved to Colorado and then to Phoenix. So, you know, sitting with you, I, you know, a lot of artists, they want all the glitz and glamour, the diamonds, the money, everything like that. I think with you, obviously, I know the music is first for you. It's just evident when you listen to your music. You know that you got the talent. You got you know, That's what's first for you, bro. Mm -hmm. When you do reach that pinnacle of success, because you're going to reach it, I think you're going to be a superstar. Um, when you reach that pinnacle of success, what's it going to mean for you to be able to take care of your family in a different way? Mm. Yeah, that's huge. Um, a lot of what I do is for them a lot of um a lot of immigrants understand the the hustle that it takes sacrifice blood sweat tears to get over here um when you come over here it's not just to mess around like most you know doctors lawyers that whole thing comes out of uh the whole process of moving over here and so my parents i'm the only kid i'm the only boy in the family um i grew up with all sisters all girls cousins etc and so they're all really looking up to me to, to, to take care of everybody, to move everybody back home, to get them land, to you know. And I keep saying, nah, like just believe in me, wait a little bit, believe in me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of us. And so it's gonna mean the world to me, not only to take care of them, but to take care of like the communities back in Ghana when I can go back and you know build little centers for them and things like that. And that's what I was gonna ask. What do you plan on doing one day? Do you plan on doing stuff like that, you know, in Ghana? Yeah, absolutely. Different think, facilities, maybe. Yeah. Like some sort of like, I really like like working with little kids. So I want to do like some sort of, I don't know, like a YMCA where they can, it's all focused around like being creative and finding their voice through music. And um, I can maybe like do like a label thing out of it where they can graduate and then, you know, get label services, things like that. But 
really giving back to the community is like where my heart's at and the music is just a means to get there so when you've been back uh, have you been back you know after you've done music and stuff like that yeah i was back in 2018 2019 i want to say for the first time what do they uh, they must look at you as this like this this star huh what was it like <laughs> yeah i was nervous bro i was like man they're about to call me out for being like whitewashed or like you don't know the language whatever so i was i was i was tiptoeing there but when i got there it was nothing but love they they made me feel like a superstar they cleared out the whole mall for me we did a music video there i did a radio tour it was the whole nine it was dope have you done shows out there uh yeah when i was there i did um shows at like their what would be like their you know up and coming artists like premiere spot i did that i did like a club I did how a many bar. people uh, I think it was like a hundred packed in there. It was pretty, pretty good show. What I would want to see is, you know, because I know you work with a lot of artists here in Arizona. I've seen, you know, some artists you've worked with. I want to talk to you about that too. Mm -hmm. It would be dope to see if you can get some of these guys out here, and you can put together like a huge Jeez. show up in in Ghana. I think that would be fire. Be can good. you make that happen? Can that happen? <laughs> hey, anything's possible. <laughs> I mean, would I, uh, it be that hard to do? I, this just because of um, like COVID and right. travel rights and all that stuff. But other than that, like when COVID settles down, is, oh, easy. is that something you've even thought about? Maybe I've thought about doing it myself, but throwing your own show on and yeah, that's a that's a super good idea for sure. So yeah. I see you've worked with guys. I think you did the show up last week in Prescott. I saw Zach who I've interviewed. He's you know, Futuristic was one of my first interviews ever. Oh, really? Ever. Like he was like my third He's interview. A legend, bro. For sure. Definitely a legend. So question for you. Mm -hmm. You did a show with him, was it last week? Mm hmm What's it like working with guys like that, you know, being surrounded with guys like Zach, Futuristic? You know, uh, I even saw that you, you've you worked with, uh, or you've been around Michael Manelli. Mm -hmm. I've talked to him a little bit on Instagram. What's it like, you know, being surrounded with those guys, working with with, with them? It's, it's, I was just talking to um, to Ralph about this. He's my, my videographer. And we, we basically grew up together in Colorado watching these guys with... Um, there's the whole like nerd rap squad like Dizzy Wright and and uh, Jacob Owens would film them Super Duper Kyle and they were all kind of running this pack where they're just kind of doing their thing having fun and they're just going viral just for being dope and like themselves and so I was telling him the other day because I was in the studio just uh, showing him some music and I was like bro this is surreal because it's a full circle moment that I used to like watch you and like look up to you and now I'm I'm here like working with you. And uh, yeah, so it means it means a lot to me. And then I also saw that he has Indie Amplify now, and you're also, mm -hmm. I think, listed on Indie Amplify. Yes. Can you talk to me a little bit about that and how it is to get a feature with you and exactly what it, what's your role with Indie Amplify? Um, so I act as just one of like their consultants. It's a super dope um, company because it's it's kind of a one ticket uh, stop for everything. Um, so you can get a feature from me for I think I'm on there for 500 right now. Okay. Um, you can do like consultancy if you need like, like oh hey Sam, how does this melody sound to you? Or can you write out this line for me and then can we work on this track together? Sort of like just like I need help with this song. Um, so all my services on there go through Indie Amplify, but you can also go through me directly as well through my website. So it seems like a real creative agency is really super, what it is. Super super yeah. When did you actually uh, start working with them? I think right when the website dropped, uh, four or five months back I want to say. Okay. Yeah, and then about two months ago, they're like, "Yo, did you want to be like a like a consultant out here?" And I think I'll start doing engineering for them too. So nice. Um, yeah, it's it's super dope. Can you explain to me exactly what Afrobeats is and what it means? Um, shoot. Because uh, you know when I when, when I uh, I was playing your music, you know, for some friends in the studio the other day too. Uh huh. And they said it kind of reminded them of reggaeton. Yeah. Yeah. What's the similarity between the both, and and what exactly, if you can break down, if you can explain to me Afro beats in the in the easiest way you Man, can. You put me on the spot. <laughs> Give me a, a history lesson. So I don't know. Like, I'll be honest. I'm still like diving into it. Low key, I was thinking about taking like a class on this because I really want to dive into it. All I know is that out of Africa, like, um, this this right here. That 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 that, that little rhythm just took off, and so each. Each area of Africa, uh, uh, like the West, Ghana, Nigeria, all of those, you got South, uh, South Africa, you got the North up in Egypt, and et cetera. They took that sound and they made it their own, and then it carried over to Jamaica and, and dance hall and all this stuff. Um, and then it even has like some Latin influences too. It definitely so does. To me, like that's what it means. There's this dude, I don't know if you've heard of him, Fela, and he was back in like, think, like the 60s, and he kind of called 
cultivated that sound but back then it was like like very like organic like bongos and like you know like that live african um really gritty sound and then out of that emerged like afro beats and there's a difference between afro beats with the an s and afro beat i'm not too sure what the difference is but, but it's very intricate yeah we'll have to check it out yeah i'll i'll figure it out and i'm gonna shoot it shoot it to you so you're wearing the energy shirt speaking of energy you know again we we were at zone out fest i was hosting you were performing during your set the energy was incredible the fans were going crazy the supporters they were going crazy you had you had the show bro you were rocking the show what's it like to see the crowd reacting to the music you make the way that they do because it it's pretty serious First, before I answer that, we got you some merch, my boy. Okay, hell yeah, got I'll be rocking that. I'll be rocking that for got sure. Got a hat. Need all that. Yes, Need sir. all that. Thank you, bro. Um, it's surreal. I always like, they're always like, yo, how do you like feel before you, you get on stage? And I'm like, I'm always like nervous. I'm always like, yo, how's this going to go? But right when I touch the stage, I black out. And then it's just something takes over me that's just like, yo, this is what I was meant to do. It just comes from inside of me and bursts out, and then the whole crowd is like... So I literally, I just, like, feed off of them, and then I give them back the energy, and then just keep it, you know, going. And it just feels natural, right, when I touch stage every single time. It's like, okay, this is my element. Let's do this. Do you think Energy is your biggest song right now? Um, it's my personal I favorite, think, but it, I don't. you might have something that you think... I is. think every... Every <laughs> every song is my biggest song. I take so much time to make sure that it can be a... Like you mentioned, Yellow that it can be something that it will translate to a certain... And creative. Like, the video for Yellow was really creative. Yeah, too. Ralph killed that. RD3 Media, so, yeah, yeah link up with him. But, How did, go on. Um, but, yeah, he... Um, well, first, he's, he's like, been my director since high school, and uh, he vision boards everything. He uh, shoots everything. He edits everything. That's my guy right there. Um, sorry, what was I talking about? the music video uh the yellow music video right yeah so i just take my time to make sure that it can be something that will translate to mainstream or to whatever audience you know will, will eat it up and so i for me i think um it's crazy because yellow has been like like being playlisted like crazy in the last few months i haven't done no kind of promotion but people have been picking it up every time i do it at a show it goes crazy um so let me ask you this then what's the What's the most popular track by streaming numbers then? Yellow just became number one. Okay. Yeah, it was at like five or six, four. And literally in the last month, it just flew by. Energy's okay two? Okay and love. Yeah, well, energy is very new, so it's still kind of catching up. But but energy hits for sure, yeah. When are we going to see you again? Because I've been hearing that I think there's a show coming up that you're headlining or you're you're opening up for a big artist. Uh, yeah, I'm opening up for um, Omale at um, La Santisma. I want to say it's like a nightclub up on Bell, North Phoenix. And that's on the 9th at around like 7 o'clock. So I'll do a little set before he comes on. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's the next show on October 9th. Yeah, and I think that'll be my last one because I just need to catch up on all these vocals I got to send out. Um, there's some meetings I got to do. So I got to go back to California, do some studio sessions, things like that. So. And you're still independent? Still independent, yeah. Is there people have been in your ear a lot recently, though? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's that like? Um, I'm just scared, bro. Like, a few years back, the guy who connected with me with the whole Ghana tour, that used to be my manager. Um, I don't want to speak bad on him or nothing, but the communication was in there. I felt a little burned throughout that whole transaction. Oh. And so now I'm like, me and my team, we're just very, like, they're like, we're protective of you, Sam. Like, we can't. So I'm just very scared to sign nothing. But it's cool to see that, like, my music is, like, getting into people's ears and all it just takes is time for the right thing to hit. Most definitely. And it seems like you're surrounded with, you know, the right people, yeah. even here in Arizona. You know, I think if you were to do anything, you would consult with a lot of people beforehand. A hundred percent, yeah. So hopefully, though, you know, I want to see you get a good deal. You know, if I don't know. If I was an artist, yeah, I'm not an artist, so I don't know, like, what I would do in that situation. I can right. tell you, like, if somebody offered me a million dollars, I definitely would take that <laughs> fucking seriously. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Real. Like, for real, though. Yeah, I would, yeah, yeah. All these, I, I, a lot of these guys, when they say, oh, I'm not taking the mark, fuck, you know, fuck the label, fuck the check, all that. I don't know, bro. You know, I don't know. No, yeah, it definitely all depends. I'm not, I'm not against doing, like, a big label deal as long as it makes sense. You're right, for yeah. sure, business-wise. All right, so you got the merch, you got the energy shirts. Can people shop your merch right now online? Uh, we'll be going live next week, so when that goes up, we'll have the shirts, the hats, and then... Um, What's the website going to be? It's samapoku.com. Super. Yeah, very easy. 
They can, they can find you everywhere at Samapoku. Yep, everywhere at Samapoku, IG, <laughs> Snapchat, Tinder, all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, are we going to get another project from you this year, an EP, maybe another couple more singles, some videos? Um, what can we expect from you? For, you know, I said I heard you say shows October 9th will be it. Yeah, I think um, probably just one more single just to end out the year. One more really good single that I could push well. Um, and then the rest of it is just prepping for 2022 so we can come out January swinging. I feel like 2021 was the year that you climbed. Mm -hmm. And I feel like 2022 is going to be the year that you explode. I mean, I believe it. Yeah. You see, and, and, and I can tell a lot of people have been in your ear here. You know, I would think majority of Arizona now. Everybody knows who you are now. So yeah, it's dope. We're gonna do the performance here in the studio. Let's go. You're gonna perform energy. Mm -hmm. What else are you gonna perform? And I'll do um, the BB free, uh, the BB freestyle. Okay, so we're gonna version of it. Yeah. BB freestyle energy. Yep. You guys are gonna get to feel Sam Apoku today in the studio, bro. Um, Boom. I'm excited for this. Let's make it happen. All right, guys, we're gonna feel the energy in the studio right now. We got Sam Apoku, superstar, right here in the making. We're gonna do energy right now. Let's live. go. This is I show. <laughs> Boom, these are sounds straight from the motherland. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make I feel ya. Make I feel ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. All bad vibes, we forget them. Man, them fall, we go balance. My boy's right for the challenge. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Waiting go happen to say la vie. The city is heavy, the weight's on me. I told my people to wait on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Careful you don't go block my way. I just did right beside my lane. It's gonna be okay. Everything happens inside of a season. It's my season. Marvel let me just to go kill my vision. Kill the vision. I say, when I'm in shit. I beg you, don't do me a holla. Man, say cold, we go suffer. But fire go fall in December. Body, they move, we surrender. From Ghana all the way to Mozambique. Yeah, you see the way we go bump your speaker. You see the way we go bump your speaker. Everything yeah. happened inside of a season. Ooh, yeah. It's my season. Mama, let me just to go kill my vision. Kill my vision. Come on, I say. Slide up to the jungle See my people, they go Die, you see the energy Come on, show me Monami Say mana, 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 mana Make up the energy Ena, 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 ena Come on Say we're dancing, say we're dancing Oh, we're done Time will show they for me Yeah, yeah, we go there for me Let's go. BB Freestyle's up next. You getting that Sam Poku today? It's Ghana's very own. The kid was never alone. The motherland's still intact. I told her I'm coming home soon. Okay, piping hot. Now people saying that the kid Kofi is next to pop. I don't know much, but I know that God got me. It got me moving easy. I just shot a movie up at the cabin with the whole posse. Yeah, check it. 
Not yet notorious, just trying to fit some big shoes The circle had to make room to put us in the right rooms It's funny how the drought comes right before the monsoon Yeah so tell me if you copy If you're moving with me, know that we moving at God speed Buddy, I ain't blind, I just got the vision tucked underneath like Kakashi Tell me if you copy yeah. Spent my savings on the dream, but the fees and receipts wasn't close to what it actually cost me yeah. I'm on the roof, but I used to lay up on the floor I'm with the suits, but I used to wear my own decor I'm with the juice, but I used to have the milk and more yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on I said kids these days getting litty but don't know how to shine Yeah, yeah, I done got the eyes of a hawk or the Tony We been on the grind, yeah, yeah Cause not all skin folk is kin folk And not all peace signs is peaceful And some of y'all sleepwalk to fake, come on but I ain't stop until I get a verse in Shmino City on my back and they been weighing by the kilo The last child of Kendrick and Wale Cold mix with a little Andre and soul Rhythm and blues, treasures and gold My soul hold on my riches I'm flying and quitters quitting And chilling out in a villa The village taught me to move with no fear No feet, it's best believe we got the ultrasound And I only got a penny, but I'm Oscar proud Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah, I say I only got a penny, but I'm Oscar. Uh, no feet is best believe we got the ultrasound. And I only got a penny, but I'm Oscar proud. Yeah. It's that BB. That BB freestyle. You feel me? <laughs> Sounds Straight like. from the motherland style. Straight from the motherland. Boom. what it is. Bumba clot. Sam Apoku. You feel me? All right, bro. I said it, bro. You're going to be a superstar. I mean it. Thank you, man. I appreciate you coming here and performing. This is going to be legendary one day. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to look back at this, you know, years from now when you're rocking shows of 10,000 people, 15,000 people. Let's go. Um, it's coming, bro. You got, a, you got a whole unique vibe to you. You got great aura to you, bro. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see you work with a lot of these artists, see what mm -hmm. happens. Um, I'm excited to see you at more shows. I'll mm -hmm. check out that show that's coming up on the 9th. Um, everybody, make sure you're following my guy, Sam Apoku. I know you guys like both those tracks. BB Freestyle, that's all out on all platforms right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. So BB Freestyle is out on all platforms. Um, obviously, Energy's out on all platforms. Check out the track Yellow, because that track's super fire. Um, check out his entire catalog. His last show is going to be the ninth of the year, so if you're in Arizona, make sure you guys go to the show. Um, if, you're, if you're an artist, make sure you tap in with him. Um, support him. Everybody support him. So, bro, we appreciate you coming by. This is the Matty Show. We bring in the best. We out. Thank you, man.